Hello my dear family members, if you have given the cognizant aptitude assessment then you must be preparing for cognizant technical assessment. If you are looking for cognizant cluster 1 coding question, cognizant cluster 2 coding question, cognizant cluster 3 coding question, cognizant SQL question, cognizant cloud computing questions, cognizant HTML CSS JavaScript questions then this video and this channel is relevant to you. So let me discuss what are the questions they have asked earlier in technical assessment for cluster 1 and cluster 2 and cluster 3. So let me share all of these one by one. Just one request guys if you are preparing for any IT placement then please subscribe this channel because here we will be uploading several MNCs coding questions, several MNCs aptitude preparations and also coding technical assessment every company's interview impressions everything so please do subscribe and like this video like this channel so that I'll be motivated to make for content in the upcoming time. So let me share the question. So uh, actually the question is shown to your screen i hope this is visible up to this much uh because of copyright issue i will not show the full questions but this is the example sample input you can see let me discuss what they have told in the compiler okay so input 1 input 2 and input 3 are provided to you you have to figure out the solutions you have to figure out the problem so input 1 is like e b c and d this is in a string format you have to convert this into a string array and the array length will be 4 right e b c d and then the target value is let's say 199 this way it is provided okay nothing else you have to find you have to find which combination is which combinations ascii value being this value okay that means the target value let me more clear it so e the ascii value of e is 101 b is 98 c ascii value of c is 99 and d is 100 right now you have to find that which two if you add then this will become the target value 199 that is from the beginning you have to find that is e plus b that is equal to 199 so output should be eb so this is the output i hope you understood how we have got the output let's say the target value is 198 then what should be the output if the target value is 198 then eb will not be possible combination b will not also be combination only b and d you can see b and d you can consider this will be the possible combination for this target value okay i hope you understood the task right so if you understood then congratulations please start solving the problem by yourself if not possible then only come to watch otherwise this will not be helpful for the assessment just assume that this is the real assessment you are giving the exam you are sitting in the exam hall and you are trying to solve the problem so please start solving the problem in python start solving the problem in java or csrf whatever language you are preferred or whatever language you have been selected for so please go through that okay so now let me just discuss what should be our approach to the solutions so we have to convert the string to array right string to array after converting that we have to um, we have to go through all the element of that string element right of those e b c d of those elements and then we have to run another inst uh, like uh, nested for loop where we'll go through from b to d and we'll keep checking if e plus b ascii value is equal to equal to the target value or not if so then we will add this e and b inside our third variable or if not then we will return minus one at the end okay at the end but before that we'll keep checking all of those elements all of the combinations right e b c d e b e c e d then b c b d then c d this way okay okay now how we'll convert this to string i mean this string to ascii value that is in case of python we'll use odd functions according to odd if we write or c then it will convert to its corresponding ascii value right and if we just typecast the character into integer then we will get 
the ascii value of that character in the java right so guys let me share the coding solutions in python and java both just before that if you are preparing and if you have confusion how to prepare for technical assessment how to prepare through the professor questions what to get and how to give a sample free mock test and also how to prepare for the interview what are the real questions they have asked then don't worry we have all of these in this uh, bundle just go through top end to tire slash techno underscore uf if you have been preparing for the first round as well this all are included like from the aptitude to coding to sql html CSS, javascript communication assessment mock test interview experience everything we have included you can go through these like this is updated up to today and also it will keep updating and you have instant access unlimited access this is the feedback of students you can see these are the feedbacks students giving like you can see this is third material i'm purchasing i like this one as well it is very good resource for last time minute last minute just go through these questions about more than half questions come in taste i love the content of cognizant it has everything for my cluster so you can see like these are the feedback students giving right so please consider it the link will be given given in the description box or in the comment section please go through that it will be very much helpful okay okay let me start with the python solutions at first guys please let me know if you want me to upload more java questions or python or more html such as javascript questions or if you want me to upload sql questions more please let me know or if you want me to upload uh cloud computing questions so that i'll uh, like plan accordingly okay and if you want me to upload any other companies questions as well then please let me know in the comment section i'll try to make a separate video on those okay okay so at first in the actually we have written all the things in main method only so at first the first input is the string okay that is symbols or you can say ebcd the um, characters okay and then we have taken the length of that and then target value okay all of those are input like integer but this one is the string format okay now symbols if by chance any user take the input like a uh, third bracket or any unnecessary things like uh, third bracket or commas or let's say first bracket then we'll replace those value with nothing okay we'll just remove those value okay so this this way you can replace all of those unnecessary values apart from e comma b comma c comma d or this way we will replace all those value with nothing okay then symbols will be splitted and it will be splitted according to the commas how let's say e b c and d is the input right then it will be converted to uh, string list e b c and d okay this will be converted to a list then just using the split method we are doing this then result we have initialized this as a minus one why because at the end if we can't find anything then result should be something right so at the end result will be minus one if no such match is found okay now we are using for loop uh, to go through from the first round like first element to the last element for the first for loop but for the second for loop nested for loop what we are doing we are going through the second element to the last element that is ith element was this one at first right so i plus one element okay so whenever uh, we will point to the e through the first for loop will point through the i plus one element in the next for loop okay so that we can get the combinations now we are checking using the odd uh, odd inbuilt function if odd symbols i symbols is the this is the array right or list symbols array so symbols i that is the first element okay plus odd of symbols j that is this element at first right so e plus b ascii value is equal to equal to the target value if it so then result will be symbols i plus symbols j that is this is string right this was string not an integer okay i hope you understood why minus one is a string because if this is uh, the combination we are uh, looking for eb then it will be concatenated e plus b e, eb okay then we'll print the result and we'll exit okay but if it is not then we'll go to the next iteration for like i plus one so now the value of 
नेक्स्ट वैल्यू विल बी सी ई सी सो नाउ ई सी विल बी चेक इफ इट इज मैचिंग और नॉट ई डी विल बी चेक इफ इट इज मैचिंग और नॉट सो दिस विल नॉट बी मैच राइट बिकॉज वन नाइनटी नाइन वॉज द टारगेट वैल्यू सो इट विल नॉट बी मैच सो वेन एवर ई बी विल कम इट विल बी मैच बट लेट से फॉर वन नाइनटी एट वन नाइनटी एट सो एट फर्स्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई इज ई so it will completely check e b e c e d it will not found find that but when the ith value will be b i mean ith value will be 2 i mean sorry 1 it will be pointing to b and the next a for loop will be starting from c so it will check if uh, b ascii value plus c ascii value is equal to equal to target value no it will check in the next iteration so still i as is pointing at b and j is pointing at now d so if b ascii value plus d ascii value is equal to scale to the target value yes so it will concatenate that value and print the result and exit the for loop i hope you understood so this way will print the result okay if no such element found no if no such combinations found then we will return will, will print the result which is minus 1 otherwise it will print the result okay so let me show the output so for e b c d and for then 199 output should be e b right just ignore the ignore the error message guys e b c d 4198 so output should be e b d right so i hope you understood as expected the answer we got but one important thing that is we have used two for loop please give any optimized code if you can so that you can prepare well okay okay so let me show the java solutions guys if you are in cluster 1 then you, it is needed for you so the same thing we have done guys i'll not discuss this again so as we have done in python here also we have taken the input for the symbol input for the integer that is the total size of this array or string and then this is the target value and we replace all unnecessary things with nothing and then we have splitted that symbols whenever we go find we uh, find an a comma okay and we have initialized the result minus 1 and again according to the like last solution For two for loop we have used which is pointing at the first element then it is pointing to the second element and we are keep checking how we checked that if if it is like how we checked the ascii value that is dot char at zero and just using the integer type casting format we got the ascii value okay so symbols i dot char at zero plus symbols j plus char at zero what we got here here we it is returning the zeroth index element that is e and it is returning the zeroth element at that means uh, at um, yeah this will be b at first right so e plus b e plus b so it will be converted to ascii value corresponding ascii value so the sum will be sum will be equal to equal to target if it is so it will return the concatenated value of symbols i plus symbols j that is e b and print the result if not if no such combinations found then it will return minus 1 so i hope you understood so let me run it here as well so e comma b comma c comma d and for 199 outputs be e b and for the second sample input let me show that i hope it is visible to you a b c d and 4 and 198 output should be bd so i hope you understood guys so if you found this video helpful guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and very honestly in the very soon like very soon various companies are going to hire like accenture in next month okay if you are watching this video on august 2025 then accenture is going to hire next month also capgemini is going to hire next month okay on on or onwards 10th september they are going to conduct their first assessment and then deltex is currently hiring 
okay but to size is currently hiding cognizant is also hiding then um lti mind tree is also going to hire higher okay so if you are preparing or if you want to prepare for all of these guys please prepare to the prepare previous year questions practice prepare give mock test interview preparations if you have all of this then it is fine but if you don't have then please consider our prime materials at topmen.ios.com the link will be given in the description box please go through that it will be very much helpful because many students found this helpful so you can consider these because uh, students feedback matters and don't play gambling with your career and like yeah don't take any chance and these are the mass hiring almost 60 to 70 percent of on campus will be conducted within two months so don't miss this opportunity otherwise it will be a very old situation for you so please if you are preparing through uh, any materials then it's fine but if you don't have then consider this or still if you need any help financial help or like then please damn me at my standards thank you